Regular viewers of TLN will recall Mary Lou Bruner, who is running for one of the vacant seats on the Texas Board of Education. She's the lunatic that suggests that President Barack Obama was a male prostitute and that dinosaurs roamed the earth at the same time as humans and that baby dinosaurs died out because they, or dinosaurs died out because they were only babies were allowed on Noah's Ark. I mean, it's a list of crazy nonsensical things that she says. But anyway, it's all coming to a head because she continues to be the front runner in the vacant position for the position on the Texas Board of Education. And it's the vote is going down today. She is she managed to alienate the Tea Party endorsement. So again, that gives you some indication as to how batshit crazy she is. She actually managed to alienate part or one of the Tea Party affiliates because of some of the statements that she's making, because it just is apparent that she's so totally clueless. Regardless of the fact that they, she actually chimes, her views chime with theirs, it becomes apparent that she's just clueless and ill-suited to fill the position. So it remains to be seen, but she is the front runner. Just remind you guys of the type of things that she said. She said this about Obama. Obama has a soft spot for homosexuals because of, of, because of the years he spent as a male prostitute in his 20s. That is how he paid for his drugs. That's a hell of a sentence to open with on your Facebook account. That'd that's get like, my attention. That's like drunk aunt at Thanksgiving, you know, who just like starts talking crazy. You're like, Where, where's any evidence of that? I know why you're so ugly. You're so <laughs> ugly because of all the physical abuse that you used to hand out to you. I mean, it's like, yeah, I mean, exactly. it just like heaps it on and heaps it on. The federal government, she goes on, the federal government wants to indoctrinate the little children, teaching them a homosexual marriage is just as good as a marriage with a father and a mother. Now. This is all, I mean, to any right-minded person, this is absolute nonsense, but to the, to the voters in Texas, it seems to be music to their ears. This is what Dan Quinn of the Texas Freedom Network says. He says the things that she says are demonstrably false, incredibly offensive, and deeply divisive, and yet she's the front-runner. That's remarkable when you think about the state the size of Texas with an economy the size that we have and the influence that we have around the rest of the country. It makes us look like a backwater. Well, it does. It, uh, Texas is, US, is, is the United States' second most popular state. It has over 5 million children. It is important and influential, uh, Texas, that is, uh, in terms of world economy. In terms of world economy, it's the 12th largest economy in the world. It's larger than South Korea and Australia. It is second only. It's, it's third in terms of uh, its its. GDP, but in terms of the revenue that it generates on an annual basis, a third behind New York and California. Its exports are greater than New York and California combined. So it gives you an idea of the powerhouse that Texas is. It's also incredibly influential in terms of the national curriculum because it produces so many books. It's waning a little bit because of the prevalence now of online books and, uh, and online media and online teaching AIDS, but notwithstanding that, it's still important and influential in terms, not just in terms of Texas, but in terms of the national curriculum, because publishers of books will pander to Texas exactly. because they know that they can sell more books. Um, if, if Texas okay it, and then Texas then as a consequence, it then filters out to other states uh, and those textbooks, types of things that, you know, as I said, the, the type of uh, argument philosophy that she has is that, that pre-K you know, education is bad because it, it sure. has a homosexual agenda. Right, exactly. That's why. The thing that pissed off the Tea Party, that, that made the Tea Party concerned that she didn't know, I have a clue what she was talking about, was when she said that half of the state was at special needs, had special educational needs. And, then and then everyone was like, whoa, 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 no. She was kind of like, oh, wait, is that wrong? And then she backpedaled on it, right? It's the only time she's actually apologized for anything. Because she mm -hmm. said, I'm, I'm quite frankly, I don't need to apologize for anything. I am protected by the First Amendment, and I have freedom of speech, and I can say whatever I want. Well, right. but when you're an elected official and you have a responsibility, but as I said, she's the front runner. She would have, there was, a, there was elections were held originally in March, on March 1st of this year, and she got 48%. She was just 2% shy of that 50% threshold. She needed 50, even though she won. She got more votes than anybody else. They need, you need 50% under the rules. You need 50% to actually get to the position, which is why she's now in a two-way runoff, um, which is going to be voted on decided today. If she wins, she'll be one of 15 st state educational board members who meet peri periodically throughout the year, about five times a year, to decide on critical matters, m matters pertaining to state education. As I said, that has an influence not just in Texas, but across the country. Yeah, I mean, I think it's bad enough when you want your curriculum or your textbooks to reflect your ideology, but it's quite a bit worse when your ideology is like cuckoo-cachoo, because, I mean, who is this woman? 
Uh, well, <laughs> the other thing is this is not particular to her. Texas itself, I don't know if we've got that image, but there was a Texas, the governor threw up an Im threw, threw up on his Facebook post. He had a, a, a picture of a gun and a Bible and said, two things every American should know how to use, neither of which are taught in schools. Right. That was his, that's his motto, sure. the Bible and the gun. So again, the, we come back to it and we talk about separation of church and state. Clearly, the governor of Texas does not believe in separation of church and state. So that indicates the extent to which the, it, it, it is out of kilter with uh, the way that we think and yeah. the way that a lot of people, you know, the way that arguably the founding fathers set up the country, mm -hmm. and I'm sure I'll get a lot of hate for that. I mean, what are you talking about? You don't even know you're not even American, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, just a quick note, I am American, actually. Don't let the <laughs> accent fool you. Anyway, so uh, let's just scotch that rumor right there. Uh, uh, but yes, for now, we wait with bated breath to see whether uh, uh, Mary Lou Br uh, Bruna is in fact gonna get voted on to the Texas State Board of Education.